Meghan Markle and Prince Harry yesterday announced that they are expecting their first child. What did Meghan's sister Samantha Markle say about the royal baby announcement? Five months into their marriage Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have announced they are expecting a baby, due in the spring of 2019. Kensington Palace confirmed the Duchess of Sussex's pregnancy saying, their royal highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their royal highnesses very much appreciate all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share their happy news. With royal family members said to be delighted how has Meghan's family reacted to the news? Meghan's mother Doria Ragland is looking forward to becoming a grandmother, according to a statement from Kensington Palace. The statement read, M's Doria Ragland is very happy about the lovely news and she looks forward to welcoming her first grandchild. However, Meghan notoriously has had a troubled relationship with her father's side of the family. Her father Thomas Markle did not attend her wedding in May for health reasons and her half-sister Samantha Markle has on multiple occasions spoken out against the Duchess. Samantha and Meghan share a father, and Samantha has previously accused Meghan of ghosting her family. However, it seems the announcement of the newest royal baby has the potential to mend drifts in the Markle family. Samantha told The Sun, it just makes everything that happened over the last year disappear. A baby changes everything and softens everyone. A source close to Meghan's dad Thomas said, Thomas sees this as a chance to fix the problems between him, Meghan and Harry. Samantha has previously taken to Twitter to comment on Meghan's relationship with the family. In one rant she said, she has ghosted both sides of the family she needs to earn our trust it is the other way around. You don't crap on an entire family and then run around crying that you cannot trust everyone. And earlier in the year Samantha also took a swipe at Meghan's mother, claiming M's Ragland wasn't around very much. Samantha said, The world does not know that our dad raised her most of the time without the input of her mother especially from age 12 through high school and he gave her everything she had and is. She was never raised as an only child. Truth kids. He is amazing and successful. The Duchess of Sussex stepped out for her first solo engagement as a royal today, and she also marked a very important anniversary. A year ago today, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made their first public appearance together at a wheelchair tennis match at the Invictus Games in Toronto, Markle's former home base. Prior to that, the only confirmation we had of their romance was a statement from Kensington Palace in November 2016. The first official photos of the now Duke and Duchess of Sussex out together were filled with adorable PDA, cheeky smiles, and genuine warmth. Harry and Meghan look besotted with one another, and they still do. For Meghan, in particular, the past year has been filled with dramatic changes. Back in September 2017, Meghan was still an actress on Suits and a resident of Toronto, where the show filmed. She still had an Instagram account which she used regularly, and her lifestyle blog, The Tig. She was also a Twitter user, and regularly posted photos of her friends, vacations, and work life on social media. But on November 21, 2017, Meghan's normal life changed forever when it was reported that the future Duchess had officially moved to London. At the same time, it was reported that she finished all of her filming commitments on Suits, and was moving to England permanently. Days later, on November 27, 2017, Meghan and Harry announced their engagement. The news was revealed on Kensington Palace's social media accounts, along with a photo from the couple's first public appearance together at the Invictus Games just two months earlier. Later that same day, Meghan and Harry spoke to the BBC about their plans to marry, and it was already clear the actress' life had changed dramatically, and that really loves Prince Harry. The very next day, on November 28, 2017, the USA Network revealed that Meghan would officially be leaving Suits at the end of Season 7. Breaking with royal tradition, Meghan spent Christmas with the royals, proving that she was already considered a part of the family.
The Queen reportedly waived her rule regarding only spouses attending the festive celebrations, allowing Meghan to attend as Harry's fiance. Shortly after Christmas, in early January 2018, Meghan deleted her online presence, including lifestyle website The Tig, her Instagram, and her Twitter account. As she was about to officially join the royal family, she appeared to be making more of her personal life private, in keeping with her soon-to-be husband's own practices. Excitement about the royal wedding consumed the first few months of 2018, with Meghan and Harry tying the knot at Windsor Castle on May 19. In a custom Givenchy gown, Meghan officially became the Duchess of Sussex. The former actress incorporated many American touches into the royal wedding, signaling that she has not forgotten her heritage. Almost a month after the royal wedding, Meghan made her very first solo outing with Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Harry's grandmother. The duo appeared to get along very well, and their outing, without any other members of the royal family, showed the immense amount of faith the royals already had in Meghan. A slew of royal events later, Meghan is attending her first solo event as a royal, exactly one year after she first stepped out publicly with Prince Harry. With her and Harry's first royal tour due to star next month, during which they'll travel to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga, it's clear that the Duchess of Sussex's life will continue to evolve rapidly. But her first year in the royal spotlight proves Meghan will handle every new change with aplomb. Meghan Markle's estranged half-sister is just one short flight away from the Duchess of Sussex and looks set to reach London for their first face-to-face -face showdown after months of raging outbursts. Samantha Markle, 53, is currently in Italy, according to her agent and PR manager, Rob Cooper. But instead of enjoying the long-lasting hot weather gripping the country, Samantha launched an ultimatum to her half-sister Meghan saying through her manager she will make her voice heard in London. Meghan, who married Prince Harry on May 19, cut off of her life her father's side of the family in the run-up to the ceremony, according to various claims made by both her dad, Thomas Markle, SNR, and Samantha. Now, the 53-year-old is demanding a face-face showdown with Meghan over their father's health. Explaining his client and him have been snubbed by the royals, Mr. Cooper wrote on Twitter, Samantha Markle is coming to the UK. After making numerous attempts in private to arrange a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Duchess of Sussex to discuss their 74-year-old father's health Kensington Palace have refused to respond. I fear Meghan may not be made aware of these discreet attempts and therefore making this public is the only option we have left. I currently have Samantha in Europe with just one short flight away. Mr. Cooper explained Samantha would prefer to discuss their family's troubles in private despite having spoken to the media multiple times in the past months. He continued, this doesn't need to be public. We would prefer to keep this private. Samantha is coming to the UK this week, like it or not. The Duchess half-sister didn't speak about a possible trip to Britain but posted a photo of herself inside an airport terminal on a social media adding new profile pic. The family drama, dubbed Markle Debacle, is believed to have unfolded weeks before the royal wedding. Mr. Markle, SNR reportedly upset the royal family by selling staged paparazzi pictures and revealing what he said were Prince Harry's political stances on Brexit and Donald Trump. He didn't fly to England to walk his daughter down the aisle because he was recovering from heart surgery and is also believed to have said Meghan. 37, would be better off if he died. In an interview to the Mail on Sunday he revealed he has been cut off completely by Meghan since she joined the Royals. Mr. Markle, SNR said, I'm really hurt that opening bracket Meghan closing bracket s cut me off completely. I used to have a phone number and text number for her personal aides at the palace, but after I said a few critical words about the royal family changing Meghan, they cut me off those numbers were disconnected, they no longer work. I have no way of contacting my daughter. Samantha, who is related to Meghan only through their father, 
took his side and has lashed out many times at the royals and her half-sister's behavior. On Prince Harry's birthday, she wrote on Twitter, Happy Birthday Harry! As you mack down on your birthday cake, think about the birthday wishes you never extended to your father-in-law. Samantha also said Harry needed to grow up and be a role model to William and Kate's children by making up with Mr. Markle S.N.R. Thank <laughs> you.